Yes, Lord, today we are going to see why malicious words are dangerous. When we are talking, we should be very careful of not uh, speaking malicious words against them, the God's people and all people. So because it is, Bible clearly says, uh, if you talk this malicious words, it will produce so much of danger. It is more than a sharp weapon. For this, let us see Psalms 101.5. Psalms 101.5 clearly says, whoever slanders the, their neighbor is in secret, I will put to silence. Whoever has the haughty eyes and a proud heart, I will not tolerate. Why God is giving this judgment to this type of people? Because uh, slander, gossip and false victim bring out harsh condition of people. False testimony may injure someone's reputation or even bring a wrong verdict. So a royal judgment will rest on those who are not acting rightly. So the malicious words are described in the Bible as a destructive words, deceit, deluding word and devouring word. First of all, it is destructive word. According to the uh, Proverbs 11, 9, with their mouth, the godless destroyed the neighbors, the, but their thought, but through knowledge, the righteous, uh, righteous escaped. Uh, the godless people who destroy the neighbor, uh, not with the physical violence, but with God, with words. Um, it refers to bad report or some form of slander. How do righteous people escape through righteous knowledge? The righteous people is rescued from trouble and it falls on the wicked instead. Um, that's what Proverbs 11, 8 says. We may not be protected from the verbal assault of the others, but we will be rescued from the backslash that uncontrolled speech produce, brings on itself. It will, the speech will produce the same backslash of the people who spoke it. Uh, the, that way we are rescued from that uh, backslash. Um, so that's what happened to David. Uh, when David um, um, was a fugitive, uh, other time the, 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 um, the king of Ammon helped him. When, when king of Ammon died, uh, um, his son became the king. So he sent his messengers um, uh, to show the kindness. Um, but when messengers reached there, uh, the the the, 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 the people, in, the more the princess in Ammonite said, uh, why do you think David sent this, um, um, these people to honor your father? No way. They are coming as a spy and uh, they go to spy the city and destroy it. Uh, so they are Hanum seized the David's um, messengers, uh, shaved off half of each man's beard, cut off their garments at the buttocks uh, and sent them away. Seeing that David was very angry, so the David went to war against him and at last um, David uh, the, the, the Ammonites were destroyed and the David took the crown from the king's head and it placed on his own head. So we should be very careful in giving a malignant advice against them, the other people also. Next thing the malicious words produce is I think described as a deceitful words. It is written in Psalms 52 too. You, you who practice deceit, your tongues ploy the destruction. It is like a sharpened razor. When um, who wrote this? The David wrote this. When he wrote this, David wrote this. When he came to know the Dovers, the Hidamite, went and called, told Saul that he saw the David in the house of in the house of the priest Ahimelech. What actually happened is Saul wanted to kill David. David ran for his life, so he went to the priest house and asked some food, and then he took the weapon from which he killed the Goliath. At the time, the 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 Devok, the Edomite, who was the servant of Saul, was there. That Saul, the servants, the Saul servant, Edom, the Devok, went and told Saul that he saw David in the house of Ahimelech. So 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 the high priest, the entire house was household people are killed on that day. But at last, Saul was killed by Philistine, and even his body was not buried. So we should be very careful about spreading the deceitful words against God's people. Now, the next thing. Uh, the, the, the malignant words are described as um, deluding words. Proverbs 10, 18 says, whoever conceals hatred with lying lips uh, and spread slander is a fool. That's what happened to the people of Jews who returned from Babylon after 70 years. The Cyrus king uh, gave permission to build the temple, but when they are putting the foundation, the, the enemies of the Jews sent a letter to the Persian king that um, says uh, that these people are not only building the temple, they are also building the entire city, building rebuilding the wall. If they complete it, then they, they never, never give you tributes um, and it will be the loss for you. And uh, at last this king ordered the pe people not to build the temple. It was stopped for 16 years. But after 16 years, it was completed. But for 
but by studying the uh, the, the the nothing but the, the deluding words um, uh, the the god's god's work was completely stopped so we should be very careful in the way what the way what we are speaking next um, the malignant words are described as uh, words that, that are devouring proverb 16 says a worthy person plot uh, trouble a worthless person plot uh, plots trouble and the speech is like a burning fire it is it will destroy them devour them a devious person spread quarrel a gossip spread separates the closest of uh, of friends um, a violent person mislead his neighbors and uh, leads him on a path that is not good whoever winkles his eyes is plotting something devious whoever bites his lips has finished his evil work uh, this type of devouring thing is was uh, it was it was happened to joseph when joseph was sold in the egypt he was brought by Egyptian master. He was blessed there by in the Egyptian master's house. So the Egyptian master allowed everything to take care by the Joseph, but except his wife. But wife had a, a lust over Joseph and asked him Joseph to sleep with him with her. But since Joseph denied it, and one day when she compelled her, she left his um, the Joseph left his cloth with the uh, with the Egyptian wife and ran away. But the wife told the servants and also husband that the Egyptian boy wanted try to misuse me and when, when the, the master heard it he got very angry and put Joseph in the prison but uh, Joseph suffered for doing what was right but God turned the evil into a blessing so we should be very careful of um, uh, spreading all the, uh, the, uh, the bad English words against God's people it not only devoured it did not only made them to feel the trouble it got certainly changed that the trouble into the blessing so that's why in my in the mama the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus Christ said uh, that um, um, blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, lie and say all kinds of evil things about you because of me. Rejoice and be glad because you have a great reward in heaven. So when people are telling evil things against us, um, we have to praise God because there is going to be a great rejoice in heaven because we are going to be rewarded for doing good for God, Jesus Christ. Not only that, we have to control ourselves of not speaking that malignant word. For that Ephesians 4.31 says, get rid of your bitter hot temper, anger, loud quarreling, cursing and hatred. Be kind to each other, sympathetic uh, forgiving each other as God has forgiven you through Christ. I will pray for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for revealing how dangerous are malignant words, malicious words. Holy Spirit, help us not to speak these malicious words in, through our mouth. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God bless you.